Tonight, on Wise Guy. One of you Gindalones pop my father in his own backyard. For your own safety, I can't stay with you now. I need you. <laughs> One of you assassins conducting business in my mother's face. This ain't the proper place. I define propriety. Juan Rodolfo, are you both here? I'm taking my rightful seat at this table. Dreaming, Pooch. I ain't dreaming. Firecrackers. Kids are stupid. Gonna blind themselves. Or maybe blow off in, a, in an appendage. You were a kid once, Eddie. You never played with firecrackers? I know from where I speak. You lost that shave of ice. Gone is gone. You dreaming, Pooch? All great lovers are dreamers. Shot, right? So why not take a shot of Marie? What are you kidding? I used to have a thing with her mother. She'd take my head off. She caught me with Marie. I hear you post back. No. The Don's in Italy. I'm looking after his affairs. I hear he's back. No, no. It's his brother, Tito. The barber? Yeah. Then why don't you got a better haircut? <laughs> Get over there. Told you you was dreaming. Can't expect girls to appreciate experience when they haven't had any. Pooch? Pooch! Right, right. Come on, Mom. That's it. 
You talk to me. I'm going to the hospital. Not until we're done here. Hey, my mother's got a heart condition. Her husband's just been shot. Now, what's wrong with you that you want to stop me? All right. I'll take you. I'm getting their statements at the hospital. Now, what about him? I don't know. You got his blood all over you, and you don't know who he is. No, I don't. Finsk. Vooch, what's up? I need to see Albert. I'll ask. Don't do nothing, Albert. Just pick the room you want to die in. What are you doing in my Don't house? Don't talk. You're gonna kill me? You better have a good reason. I got reason. You got reason for my son to see his daddy dead with his brains all over the floor? You hit my Don. You ordered. Levinsky was one of the buttons. Levinsky? Levinsky works for you. He's one of your crew. He did a few things for us. That's it. He's not my man. I ain't stupid! Nobody thinks you're stupid, Pooch. It wasn't me. I swear to God, I'm my son. Vinsky, I'm my son. You think so little of me that I would swear to rely on my son? You didn't? No. Snort pooch, wrap a scotch. Yeah, anything. Is Ayupo dead? He was still breathing when they put him in the ambulance. Where'd this happen? To Don's home, right in the greenhouse. From his wife and everything. Bastards. Okay. How do you know Lubinsky was? One of the buttons. He was dead in the alley. He did work for you, Albert. He picked up work. There were no oaths between me and this guy. You gotta know me, Pooch. Any man who passes judgment on another man, a full view of his home and family. My feet is hard to the dogs. Albert, Albert, you all right? Yeah. It's Scar. I'm really sorry. Well. Albert, Zippo caught a rocket. Dead? Yeah. Jenny? Jenny, get dressed. What? Get dressed now. Well, hey. Come on, baby. We're gonna go on a little trip. Let's go. Albert? Get dressed. Now, Jenny. Daddy. You're gonna take a vacation. What about school? Don't you want to skip a few days of school, huh? I can ditch. All right, sure. Just for a few days, huh? Scott, are you okay to drive? Yeah. Take Jenny and little Alta Kennedy and get on a plane. All of you. Where? Jenny will tell you where. You don't need to get the suitcase. I can't. No. Forget it. There's no time. What's going on, Albert? Okay. Scar's so gonna take you to the airport, okay? 
You, little Alan Scar, you get on a plane. First plane to wherever. From there you go to Tampa. Then to that place on the beach, you remember? Oh, breakers. Yeah. Don't say it again. Don't even tell Scar. You go there, get the best suite, and stay there. And don't call anybody. Not even your mother. Daddy! Uh, here. There's enough cash to take care of everything. What about little Al's school? School will be there when you get back. Let's do it. All clear. Nice. Now, let's go. Okay, baby. So, this is going to be a great vacation for you, Tom. Gonna go in it, Daddy? <laughs> no, Daddy's not gonna go in his underwear. This is gonna be a surprise vacation for you and Mama. Okay? I love Albert. you, baby. Okay, take care of Mama. Okay, Albert. go. All right, baby. Bye. We got a war. I gotta survive the night. I gotta survive the night with my pants on. I need your loyalty. Oh, this is what are you for? Donna, you for is dead or dying? Zipho's dead. And I'm the next most likely target in the bloodletting. No, I need to know where you stand. I need this now. I'm here, Albert. Pack the work, huh? Does your husband have any blood relatives we could get here quickly? No, his brother is in Italy. Are you all right, Carlo? Just short of breath. You got business here? Is it all right if I speak with this man? Yeah. Step in here. There's a mob conflagration happening, Vinny. If I was hit tonight, too. Thanks. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Your mom? I'm not uh, checking her in for a couple days. Observation because of her heart. Ayupa? Uh, he's in surgery. He hasn't got a chance. Got a rare blood type. Two million people in Brooklyn and nobody's home would be negative. Great. My mother's gonna need protection. Right, that's done. And you? Absolutely not. Badges around me are just gonna draw attention. What about Amber? Yeah, Amber needs protection too. Police are taking her home now. Have to break things off with her. Four hours ago, I was announcing my engagement. Now I'll probably have to plan a funeral. Then she can't. Well, check your mother into 505. Ow. She's sleeping comfortably. Okay. Now you have to rest for half an hour. Yes. And thank you. I don't want you to worry about this. We can put your family in a safe house till this thing blows over. I appreciate that, Frank, but this is my problem. I've been skirting it my whole life. Time's come for me to deal with it. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? Well, I'm not gonna do anything rash. I'm just gonna grab a cab, go home, take a shower, change my clothes. Mm -hmm. All right. What are you doing? 
take my car. It's in the park. And take my car. Be careful. Right. Thanks. Thank you so much, okay? Drink your juice. Mr. Don okay? He's still in surgery. Nobody's gonna hurt the Don again. Nobody. It's okay. Get in. I want you to know Don Ayupo's under my protection until the commission decides otherwise. Come on in, it's safe. I gotta do this here, all right? The law, you know? I listen to everything. They got a satellite up there following this car. Spent 50 mil to try and listen to two guys who don't amount to nothing trying to survive the night. I need to know where you stand. You mind telling me where we're going? We're going to get to know each other. I'm not interested in the only common ground between us being a burial plot. No, I need to know where you stand. I don't give a damn what you need to know. No. Hey, I got problems here! I'm your problem if you don't stop yelling at me. Maybe you got this Hamlet thing with your mother. What? Hamlet. You get rid of your stepfather, you get the kingdom. Yeah, maybe you're Macbeth. So listen, Shakespeare, why don't you drop me off? I want to change my clothes. I'm covered in blood here. We can't stop, man. We got to keep moving. Is your folks popped? Are you folks popped? We're on a list. We got to keep going. Well, it sounds like your list to me. You got the most to gain by it. Hey, I had nothing to do with this. Tell me what happened to Ayupo. What? I heard shots. I ran outside, I saw Rudy was hit. Three guys were running into a car in the alley. I grabbed one of them, he couldn't get in the car because I had him. So instead of taking off, instead of just leaving, the driver shoots the guy. Bucci recognized this guy, Jake Levinsky. Now, Levinsky did a few things for us, so some people think he's my guy. I'm being set up, Vinny. That's because they're such geniuses, right, Albert? They know that I'm gonna grab your guy. Specifically grab Levinsky, so they can pop him to set you up. Come on, what do you think? You know what I think? I think they were all your guys, and being morons, they panicked when I grabbed Levinsky. Now, you guys screwed up, so you're running scared. Hey, I don't run scared, I run to survive. Yeah. And if I wanted Ayupo whacked, I'd do it myself, and i do it right. Yeah, well, what else are you gonna say? This thing going on, it's like, it's like they cut the head off a wolf. But the wolf doesn't die. It grows a new head, or two, or three. But it's only one wolf. So these three heads, they devour each other till only one head is left. In the meantime, the wolf, it's running wild without control, without logic or reason or any state of mind. That's what we got here. This, this war is gonna devour anybody in its path and we're as close as it gets. Now I'm reaching out to you. I'm asking you to reach back. I'm asking you to let me know where you stand. As long as Rudy's alive, I stand with him. I stand in his place. So whoever popped Rudy's gotta answer for it. No. Was that you? I already told you I had nothing to do with this. And you don't ask a man that question. Hey, I ask anybody whatever I want when my own family's been attacked in their own backyard. Keep the change. <laughs> I was in recovery, that's all they'll tell me. He's got the heart of a warrior. Yeah. Pooch tried to kill me tonight. It was real sweet. This guy who never did anybody. Maybe one guy once, and was sick about it for 20 years. Comes to me for his done. I love loyalty. I'm trying to be your friend, Vinny. You know, during a crisis, friendship is important. Remember Pat the Cat Patrice? Yeah. Yeah, he tried to be my friend. As long as it suited him. Which means what? Which means greed kills. You see a guy stumble, you help him up. 
Patrice saw a guy stumble. He tried to grind him into the dirt by turning my friendship against this man. Now, Patrice now, he's buried in the Pine Barrens. And nobody cares. See, Albert, I love loyalty, too. You clip Patrice? You don't ask a man that question. And the answer is no. I'm gonna clip the guy who shot at you, Bo. Now, who was it, Albert? I don't know. See this barge? Yeah. It's only garbage. <laughs> but it's my garbage. This is my main business here. I'm gonna open up to you in any way I can. Because it's the proper thing to do for Dana Upa's son. So what happens now, Albert? We survive the night. Uh, whoever's making these moves is going to stop now, assess the situation, because the crap's going to hit the fan when the commission meets. When is that? As soon as everybody can be brought together. Today, probably. And I went in on it. And then it'll have to be put to a vote. Did they vote on killing Ayupo? Not any vote I was in. All right, then the hell with their voting. I want in on it. Come on. I'll take you where you want to go now, huh? You can clean up. Watch. Look at him, Vinny. All tangled up in there, spaghetti. It's my fault. I should have been there. Pooch, Pooch, it's not your fault, okay? Yeah. He knew this was gonna happen. See what he got the day he got back? Two first-class tickets, one way to Italy. Where did these come from? Don asked me to find out. He had no luck. Now this. All right, I'll take care of it. Coach. Listen to me. Hey, hey. Listen to me. You work for me now. Until Don Ayupo recovers, I'm gonna need you. Understand that? What do you want me to do? All right. There's a meeting of the commission today. I need to know where and when before it happens. That's against the rules. Hey, Pooch, this was against the rules, too. Huh? Now you do this for me. Are you, Paul? I don't know what to do. Danny. No, mm. get off. Get off! What? What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got this guy's blood all over me. I'm sorry. Do me a favor and get a garbage bag, will you? I want to put this stuff in it. Rudy. He's out of surgery. And your mom? 
Yeah, she's all right. How are you doing? Huh? I can't touch these things. What? I can't touch these things. Open the bag. I'm sorry. I don't blame you. I'm sorry. Is it over now? Vinny? I don't know. I fell asleep last night. But I was so exhausted from it. A horrible thing that happened. I, I slept like a rock. I didn't dream, though. When I woke up is when the dreaming started. Seeing Rudy laying there so frail, and then your mom. In that icy, cold, clinical place. Emma. For your own safety, I can't stay with you now. Well, you have to. Listen, listen to me. No. People are trying to kill me. It's dangerous for you to be with me now. No, I need you. I need you. Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Just a minute, okay? Amber! Amber! All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Amber. Wait a minute! You, you disappear on me for 15 hours. You leave my car. You don't say anything. I'm having a heart attack. Oh, Frank, Frank. Sirico grabbed me out of the hospital. I had to play it by ear. Okay? Are you all right? You're very flush. Yeah? Huh. No, I'm fine. McPike has interrupted us. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, the commission's supposed to meet because of the hits. Could take place any time. Here. Donna Upo got these when uh, he and my mom got back from Italy. Here, here's your car keys. Thanks a lot. So you find out who gave him these, we can find out who, who did the hits, you know? I'll fax these to DC. Well, you can do that. You could do that in here. Uh, yeah, it's OK. Go ahead, Frank. Listen, they found a boot mark at the scene of the crime. It's a Western style, size 12. Anything else? No. Yeah, what? Frank, Ayupo's driver's coming up. Ayupo's driver's on the way up. Is he safe? Yeah, he's fine. Oh, wait a minute. You've got my building staked out? I've had you under surveillance around the clock. That, that does not make me very happy. Mm, great. Listen, I'm really sorry, but you had me scared to death. Yeah, I know. I should have called you, Frank, but I haven't stopped moving, you know? Coochie's here! Mission meeting. Where? Hotel Georgia. When? Ten minutes ago. All right. Good job, Pooch. Thanks. Commission's meeting now. Hotel Georgia. Vince. Vince. It's like this all the time, isn't it? No. McPike, you got an airline tickets fax, and I need to know where they were bought, who bought them. I need surveillance around the perimeter of the Hotel Georgia. Our boy's going in for a commission meeting.
You love this, don't you? No. You lying macho bastard. Yes, you do. You love seeing how close you can get to the Grim Reaper, don't you? Yes. And if you love him, you better accept it because he won't give it up for you. I'm ordering protection for you. I'm sorry. The meeting's in room 1214. All right, how many guys upstairs? Usually two or three outside the door, maybe one inside. Any of your hitters wear cowboy boots? I don't know why. Nothing. Doesn't matter. Hey, back off. Friggin' horror show. Now, one of you two morons. Who the hell are you? Who the hell is this? Who the hell lets a guy in here with a gun? Well, at least he ain't got a gun anymore. Who the hell are you? I'm Rudy Ayupo's son. You're supposed to be protecting this room. Shut up, Joey. Get your man cleaned up. My profound sympathies for the events of the last 24 hours. I'm Alex Vekov. The girl didn't help, they just watched. Clean your face. They just watched, man. Suiko knew he was coming. Shut up. Guns hanging on? Yeah. You guys know uh, anybody that does heavy work in cowboy boots? You're gonna make a phone call. 17 and 6. 18, 19, 20, 22. Damn it! Yeah! Clancy. I got your back end. Good. This is what you do. Go to Angeletti's, pick up 11 pasta dinners to go, and bring them to the garage of the Hotel Georgia at 4 o'clock sharp. Park by the elevator, I'll meet you. I ain't no delivery boy. You ain't much else either. You want your back end, you do this. That was good you came by, kid. But now we got to get back to the meeting. I'm going to say something to the room. Is that OK? Sure. But keep it short. I'm very direct. Hey, uh, let's get back to the table, huh? One of you gindaloons popped my father in his own backyard. One of you assassins conducting business in my mother's face. This ain't the proper place. I define propriety. Now you can't control your business. So it spills blood in my house. I'm Rodolfo Ayubo's hair. I'm taking my rightful seat at this table. Two first-class one-way tickets to the old country. So. Who gets a thank you note? We got him. John Clancy, 155 Avenue C. this table by deeds, longevity by election. We got 50 years of history here we got to abide by. 50 years ago, Jews and Serbs weren't allowed to sit at this table. 
Time changes history, and today is one for the books. We can't change history during a crisis. Crisis is history changing. What are you talking about? Why the hell are we explaining anything to him? You got no place here, no right here. You're not a Yupo's blood. You're some South Jersey junketeer. You wouldn't be alive in this room for 10 seconds your mama hadn't married a Yupo. And they wouldn't trust you to carry their coffee if you didn't marry Zippo's daughter. Hey, 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 come on. I've seen the act, all right? Doesn't play. Now shut up and sit down before you embarrass yourself, huh? Come on, get up. You don't insult my wife. You married her. You insulted her. Why, why, why? Hey! I am happy Zippo is dead. He was alive seeing this would kill him. And I don't know what business you got here either, Joey. You can't behave in a proper manner. I got food coming. I'm gonna go down and wait. Get some air, uh, cool off. I still don't think you should be here. You got my linguini gossip? Yeah, yeah. Vinny, maybe you belong here more than anybody. But we don't know you. It's a special process to get a seat here. I know you think you got a right to Don Ayupo's place, but even the Don hasn't sat there for, for 10, 12, 15 years. Now, I will report everything decided here to you personally, myself. I will serve you as Ayupo's representative. But more than that, you got no supporters. Nobody thinks you belong here yet. I do. This situation is like they cut the head off a wolf. Clancy, you're under arrest. We got a bad situation. Whose fault is that? Don't start with me, huh? Where is he? Over here! Where's the phone? Where's the money? You should be getting half of this for that half-assed job you did. That old man took about 12 slugs. <laughs> I just kept waving that Uzi at him. That's not what you do. You walk up. You put the gun in the back of his head, so when you pull the trigger, you know he's dead. Like that. Hey, what about the money you gave me? I ain't a thief. You don't want a card for us? You don't card. This ain't a laissez-faire operation. My mother <clears throat> has a heart condition. Sorry to hear it, kid. The attempt on my father's life has caused her to be hospitalized. I'm going to the hospital now. But I will be back, like it or not. We won't like it. But it's nothing personal. We should take him out. We should welcome him to Don Ayupo's seat at the table. Mr. Pompeo. Yeah? We need you to join us for questioning with regards to the death of Mr. Anthony Zippo. I had nothing to do with that. Pooch, go ahead. It's all right. You'll catch up to me later. This? Yeah, I know. I needed you alone for a minute. It's not easy under the current circumstances. We made the guy who bought the ticket, Sean Clancy. We're watching his apartment. He works for Tosca Cartage, Vinny. All right, thanks. So what's going on with the meeting? Voting on my future. You just remember I'm keeping my eye on you. Yeah, yeah. 
We were born out of the need and desire that brought our grandparents here. The desire was for the promise of a better life. The need was for protection while they struggled for that promise. So we banded together to protect the family, to pass on in an orderly fashion that which we gained. It's a tragedy that we've lost that. These are the things that brought Vinny to this table. And this was a brave and noble act. In his place, how many of us would have the courage to face this assembly with the truth we've forgotten? We've become the connivers of Caesar's Senate. And Vinny's coming here has given us the chance to seize back the foundation of this thing of ours. Now, I don't say this was his, his intent. He came here for simple reasons, reasons we should be ashamed to have lost. For him, the value of life is based on the honor with which it is conducted and the respect it demonstrates for family. This is why we're here. I don't like those men outside the door. Yeah, I know, Mom, but it's better to leave them there for now. You understand that? They're not your people, no, Vincenzo. I know. I know who they are. He asked for you. Don't know you, Paul. It's Vinny. Albert speaks very elegantly about what's best for the family, about honor. Now, what's best for Albert is exactly what almost happened last night. My father-in-law dead, God bless his soul. Ayupo dead. Albert's in a position to take center stage. But things didn't work that way. Now, I'm not accusing anybody of anything. I'm just looking at the facts. Last night, Things didn't work out the way they might have in Albert's favor. So now Albert brings in here, and make no mistake about this, Albert brings in here an angry man looking for revenge. Albert's men don't stop him at the door. They let a loyal guy like Carlo take a beating. And they do this because Albert says so. So in comes this angry man who won't be satisfied till he has revenge on us. And Albert wants to give him a seat at the table. Now, what we should do is tell this angry man to go away. And if he doesn't, then we got to make him go away. We're in a crisis here. we got to close ranks, not open them up. This is not the time to change the way we do things. These times beg for change. And put it to a vote. Do we let a guy who insults us in him? Or do we make this angry man go away? in whatever manner is required. Tell me. Tell you what? What you know? No. No. Yes. Sifo is dead. And? Sirico courts my allegiance. Yes. Yes. The commission is meeting. Can you? I know. You should rest. You know, Mom's not very happy with you. And? Muscled my way into the commission and demanded your seat at the table. I kill you. I know. No.
you should get to bed now. Everything is safe. I don't want you to worry about it. Oh.